NPLRD Network presenta Pelota en las redes Fly ball into uh, left center field, retreating toward the alley and making the catch is Outman for the to right field line and Mookie is taking a big turn around first. Just a huge three, you got him looking. There's the man of the hour for the Dodgers, Will Smith. Last night. That is a duplicate of Max Mo to first. That's a fair ball up the line. Corbin Carroll. Pitch for May. Fly ball to left field. Peralta back in. He's first pitch after the challenge to right center field. Miguel Vargas. Goes in all six frames, he's worked. And there was a lot of anticipation Second to watch to May in this day. 3 2. Line to center. And there's James. Mookie on the 0-2 pitch. Driven to left field. And go! Coaching staff and support staff receive their 2022 World Series championship rings. And now they are ready to reign for another year. Looking for back-to-back -back titles. And three in the last seven years. Night, Christian Javier, who last pitched in game five of the World Series. And made a little history in the process, part of that no-hitter. A leadoff. He slashes this ball into left field, and the Sox take the early lead on two strikes. Eloy Jimenez at RBI. Bow and arrow working early. Eloy, one zip. Trick against Robert Jr., three of his. And nobody out. This ball in the air to right field. Tucker going back near the warning track. It's going to end up in right center and bounce on a hop over the wall and give the Sox a third straight. The ball is up in the air for a while, and I don't think Myers saw it very well. By the time he does catch up to it, it's over his head and out of the ballpark, and that is going to be it as Javier is going to depart down for the moment. Three. Jose Abreu on base for the second time. King Tuck makes it a one-run game with his first of the season. See you later. Single after striking out his first three times up. Here's lefty Benintendi. He doubled his last time up, one for three. That ball hit pretty well to right field. All the way back goes Tucker, and he reaches up and makes a phenomenal play. What a play by the Gold Glover, Kyle Tucker. Deep into the corner in right field, chasing it down. Just up, banged into the padded wall, and back, and it's off the wall. One run right scores. Here comes Alex Bregman. Towards right field, long run. Tucker, he's going to get there, and he puts it away. Astros are winners, 6-3. to three. They have evened up their record at one apiece. Tonight baseball in Petco Park. It is a City Connect night as the players support the San Diego State University Aztecs as they get set for the final four in Houston tomorrow. Throw two or three pitches in that bat and go deep into this ball game. He should be good to go. Here's Chris Brown. Again, lines it into left field for a base hit. He had the double line to left last night. This evening, a solid line drive. Two home run. And getting into it a little bit with Brian Onora. He thought that one had a purpose to it. Outside and they're loaded up for Ryan Mc trying to figure out who's going to cover second was going to be Bogarts or Kim So you had to kind of lob that ball over there and I think that got everybody's timing off and the Rockies agree They're not going to challenge first and third two gone a run in here's Montero one one did nothing didn't get all that one Like he did the home run last night, but good enough to get it up the middle the guy is so big and straight. to right but uh, Chris Bryant is there. saying I don't see it and Bryant was kind of late to react going back is Castro But he's got room Shot High of the track, he will haul that in, and there's out number. Drives it high and deep right field. Take a good look, you won't see it for long. Two run, home run, Charlie Blackman, and the Rockies lead it four to nothing. What a start to the season for the 36. This too, watch him go over there, make this throw. He ends up over by the third base coaching box. Flat out. Donnie, I'm really surprised that Daza did not pull up and play that on the a time and the bloop double. Do He'll get it back in, but Xander Bogarts, who had three hits last night, has his first hit of tonight. And grabbing it for the first out. A good pitch by Kyle Freed. Another fly out for Kyle. Out number one. Yeah, he is really. So he's been a master at changing speeds. Well, Cruz coming in in his career had been three for five off a of suitor, but right out of the hand. That's a good arm action. Ball to left center field. They're coming from everywhere, and it'll be the center fielder 
Daza making the catch, tagging and scoring. To end the inning. And down to first base goes Brian. Two on, two down. Just come with two outs in the end. A deep third and off the glove of Trejo. Into foul ground and Machado will reach. What a perfect atmosphere for the very first flashback Friday of the season. Every single Friday home game here at Lone Depot Park. The Marlins will be celebrating 30 years of the franchise history. And they're doing so in. Go ahead to the mound for the first time in 2023. He was a strikeout machine. One of the best strikeout percentages among National League pitchers. Struck out almost a third of the batter's face. It's left hand hitting Brandon Nimmo. Cooper out to right field for Marte. And he can't make the play. It gets down toward the corner. Cooper is going. And Jorge Soler just made the catch. Leaping at the wall, Jorge Soler just maybe has got a chance. On its way and gone. Soler has that kind of power. Terrific swing. Bunt, beautifully done. Alonzo can't make a play. And Arise has himself a bunt single to put two men on. And now a real tough hitter, Garrett Cooper. One and one to Cooper with one out. And he shoots. And Alonzo lines it center field. Jazz ranging back is there and makes the play. The Mets lead. Marte line drive right field on a line. In comes Jorge Soler. He made the catch. Oh, a diving catch by Jorge Soler in right field. May have just saved the game for the Marlins here in the eighth. What a game Soler's had. Into the second deck in right field. Jazz Chisholm Jr. just turned around 95. He had to leave his bat at about 115. That was an absolute miss. Marlins debut of A.J. Puck. 96 at the top of the zone. Now you can go right after big Pete Alonzo because if he hits a home run, it don't really mean that much. It's just one run. Well, now you've got him. Flies one deep to right field. Garcia back on the warning track right at the wall. It's out of here. It's a Marlins win. The Marlins get Skip Schumacher his first win as a big league manager. The Mar Marlins have beaten the New York Mets by a final score of two to one. The opposite way, down the line, it is off the fence. Julio digging for two. That's going to play to run. Julio coming around field. Gonzalez with a routine play, one away. Four pitch walk of the night as the Guardians have loaded up the bases. Nobody out. Here's a pop into foul territory. Hernandez comes back into fair ground. And makes the catch. Uh, those are the run and gun guardians we saw a year ago. Hernandez through to the to right field. That's deep. And a nice catch in the gap by Teoscar Hernandez. But Zanino tags and scores, and it's three. Puts a bullet into the gap. That'll tie it up. Cal Raleigh. Stand up. Two run double tie. Swinging a line shot deep to left field. Juan twisting, turning. Off his glove. He falls down the ball, rolls to the wall. Here comes Hubble running third. His first RBI of the season. It's now Cleveland five and the Mariners. Todd Pace hit left field. He made his scores. Here comes Zanino. And, and Morgan gets out of it, striking out Rodriguez and striking out. That ball into right field. There's only one out. Zanino's getting ready to run. Teoscar Hernandez makes the catch. Zanino's coming home. Here's now got Zanino for out number three. Teoscar Hernandez. This ball is going to be off the wall, and it's a leadoff double in standing at second is Jose Ramirez, his second double of the year. Infield in, Josh Naylor lines a base hit to left center. That'll knock in Ramirez, and the guardian pop up into shallow left. Jose Ramirez is there, makes the catch, ball game, and win number one in 2023 is in the books. Atención prospecto. Tú puedes ser el ganador de uno de estos guantes. Es fácil, solo síguenos en todas nuestras redes. NPLR de Network Off y suscríbete en nuestro canal de YouTube. NPLR de Network Off. Haz un capture de nuestra plataforma. www.nplrdenetwork.com Taguéanos en Instagram y a cinco de tus amigos que le gusta el béisbol y ya estás participando. Cortesía de Tommy Hot Dog y AIB Electromuebles. Anímate, tú puedes ser el ganador.